Hi everyone, welcome to Asian Voices, your source for Asian American and Pacific Islander culture, lifestyle, and entertainment throughout Southern California. I'm your host, Kathleen Choi. In today's episode, our own Ivan Chong gets his groove on as he heads to OC to meet up with an Asian American dance group called Kaba Modern that has evolved to be one of the most cutting edge, award winning, multicultural hip hop dance crews in California. Later, our lovely Melody Tao gets an inspiring interview with the popular Filipino-American TV show host, actress, and singer, Jalyn Rodriguez, who shares her formula for success when she transitioned from being a Hollywood actress to a business entrepreneur. But first, let's check in with Melissa De Leon as she brings you the truly inspirational story of a Vietnamese Korean entrepreneur, national fitness model, businesswoman, and no excuse mom, Michi Nguyen. She is also a cancer survivor who has dedicated herself to helping motivate and inspire other cancer patients and families through her own foundation. Hi everyone, Melissa here with Asian Voices and today I am talking to Mishi Nguyen. She is a modern mom, she is a no excuse mom, and she is most importantly a dedicated mother to a four and a half year old son and a cancer survivor. Mishi, thank you so much for being here and for inviting us into your home today. Oh my gosh, thank you so much for coming. Yeah, how did you become so involved in health and fitness? Um, well, I think my whole entire life I've been involved in health and fitness, you know, back in the day, you know, cheerleader in high school, dance team, taekwondo. Mm -hmm. um, but I think what really kind of catapulted me being so focused on health is, you know, I, I was a, I'm a, bre a breast cancer survivor. I was diagnosed in 2006 at the age of 29, two weeks before my 30th birthday. And I think ever since then, you know, you realize the importance of your health because without your health, I mean, you really can't, you know, excel in your career or, you know, be provide for your family. So I think that's, that's when and everything kind of changed for me. You beat the you beat the cancer. I did. I'm um, almost ten years uh, clean. Well, I'm not saying I'm clean, but ten years as a survivor. Yay. So and yeah. congratulations no, to you, you because that's incredible I'm and very that must feel that. really really good. Mm -hmm. And after your mom passed away, mm -hmm. that is when Live Life Shredded came to be, right? Yes. And can you tell us? what the mission is and what your what the organization does. So our mission is to help um, patients going through chemotherapy and their families, uh, or if they're going through hospice, kind of go through the day-to-day, -day, help them with the day-to-day -day activities. So if they need house cleaning, um, if they you know need transportation to and from doctor's appointments, we are actually, one of the other things that we're doing, we create these things called chemo survivor survival kits, and I have one right here. Great, And so what, we, what it is. We are asking people for donations um, and to basically create a chemo survival kit. So it'll have, you know, when you're sitting in that chair for four to six hours, it's nice to maybe have some magazines. Right. Um, or you can read a book. So, if you, you know, we've got someone donated to Kill a Mockingbird. Um, hard candy because your taste buds change when you're going through chemo. Everyone will get a Live Life Shredded like tank top or t-shirt, depending, you know, if you're a male or female. Very nice. And then anything like pillows or blankets, you know, anything to make them comfortable while they're sitting in that chair for four to six hours. Well, it is incredible that you still find the time to give back. Thanks. Because I understand, as I understand it, you are um, employed full-time. I am, I'm, I'm a, I have a full-time career in finance and accounting. And you are a mom. I am a mom. And how old is your son? He's four and a half. Oh, and yes, what Maddox. Is his name? Maddox. Maddox? Yes. Okay. I'm, he's my miracle baby because I had him after chemo. Now that you're a mom, yes. you're not only a mom, you're a no excuse mom. I am. And what does that mean? Um, so I joined this movement, the No Excuse Moms movement, and I am the San Diego um, County No Excuse Mom leader. And so I create workouts in different areas in San Diego, and I've got these awesome co-leaders, other moms who volunteer their time to lead moms and their kids. And that's what we promote. You can work out with your kid, uh, so there's no excuses, basically, right? Mm, I like and, that. Yeah, and I'm also the national website recipe blogger. So I do a little quick, because I'm busy, I do quick little recipes under 20 minutes. And what are your top fitness tips for, for busy moms, busy people? I mean, what what is the secret to staying, I mean, looking fantastic like you do, okay? Because you look incredible. <laughs> Thank you. Um, 
I would say the top three would be, you know, t sit down on Monday and schedule those workout meetings as if they were like your work meetings, right? And mm -hmm. you don't miss those mm -hmm. work meetings, you shouldn't miss your workout meetings. Mm -hmm. I say make sure what you're doing is attainable. Don't say, you know what, I'm just gonna never eat carbs, you know, forever. Okay, that's unrealistic. Do it in baby steps, right? Maybe this week I won't eat carbs for dinner, and next week I'll try not doing it for lunch and dinner. And then I think the third thing is, you know, moderation. Um, don't try to, you know, work out 10 times a week and then you get burnt out. Start little, start slowly, and it'll be something that you'll be able to do for a long time. And we're gonna take this into the kitchen, right? Yes, you're gonna I'm show excited. me how to be healthy. All right, Okay. right, I'm ready, Yay. let's do it. Now you're gonna show us how to make a very quick and healthy snack, is that right? Yes. What are we making here today? So this is one of the easiest appetizers slash snack that you can make. And it's just, you know, getting some brie or your favorite cheese, you can use any cheese that you want. I love brie. Um, some cherry tomatoes and some water crackers. So you're telling me this is what a bikini model eats at home as a Shh, healthy don't snack. don't tell anyone. Because if it is, I'm gonna eat this every day. Don't tell okay? anyone. All right. <laughs> tell me about this book we have back here, the No More Excuses Diet. Like I said earlier, you know, I'm the No Excuse Mom leader here in San Diego. I'm actually the recipe blogger for Maria King's website, noexcusemom.com. And I just believe in everything that she does as far as health-wise and how she does everything in moderation. And it's not a quick and easy fix, quick diet. It's basically moderation, sustainability. And, you know, I love everything that she's about. It's time for us to go because after all of this talk of fitness, I gotta hit the gym. Just kidding. Actually, we're just gonna finish up this wonderful snack that Mishi has made for us. And Mishi, thank you once again because it truly was incredible to meet you and learn more about your story. Thanks for having us tonight. Anytime. Thank you, thank you. And to all of you out there, till next time, this is Melissa for Asian Voices. Thanks everyone. Daddy sent you another one. Whoa. Daddy, do you know why goats don't slip? Hmm. You've worked hard to be successful for your family. Working together, we can help manage your money so you can broaden their horizons. Adi, Daddy's on the phone. Daddy, I miss you. Oh, I got the answer. Flying fish can miss. Wells Fargo. Together we'll go far. Recently, more Asian Americans have found themselves in successful careers in Hollywood. One such person who's made a name for herself in showbiz is the beautiful Filipino-American TV show host, actress, and singer, Jalene Rodriguez. Melody Tao brings us her personal story of a career working in Hollywood as an Asian American and finds out what new entrepreneurial business she's brewing up for herself. Hi, it's Melody Tao with Asian Voices, and today is a very special day because I have the honor of interviewing one of the most influential Asian American female entrepreneurs in Southern California. Hey everybody, I'm Jalyn. I'm Jalyn. I'm Jalyn Rodriguez. Jalyn Sophia Malone began her career as a hip hop dancer in Hollywood. This paved the way for her to become an actress and a TV host. She has starred alongside some of Hollywood's biggest celebrities in addition to interviewing some of the top people in entertainment. Well, that was a workout. Right, thank you so much for joining us, Jalyn. Absolutely, thank you so much for having me. I know you are a very busy woman, and <laughs> yeah. you are all over the place, but yeah. you are here now in Moster Coffee. Mm -hmm. um, tell us more about the concept here. You went from being in Hollywood to coffee. Yeah. That's a little bit different, or maybe they're kind of related because people uh, are. No, they're really different <laughs> in most ways. Um, no, I'm, I'm from San Diego, and um, I'm recently married, and I kind of wanted to start my life here as well. And like you said, I, I've always wanted to be an entrepreneur. So my best friend uh, Bev and I we were gonna open up a coffee shop and so when we were trying to decide what coffee roaster to carry in our coffee shop we started to realize you know why don't we roast coffee ourselves and then I learned that coffee was actually something that was grown in the Philippines so when Bev and I 
I decided, okay, let's roast coffee. And then we realized that the Philippines actually has coffee, but there's really no market for it. We thought, well, through our company, Mostra, we can actually create a market for the Philippine bean. And, um, you know, market, um, like market the Philippine bean as a world-class brand, make sure that we pay the farmers um, direct trade prices and actually help them, um, you know, improve their quality of life by paying them properly. So right now you're really living your true dream of being an entrepreneur, but in yeah. Hollywood, you were a bit of an entrepreneur too. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you interviewed some of the biggest names in Hollywood. Tell us more about that and who you got to talk to. And so I, I hosted a bunch of TV shows and I got to do a lot. I got to cover like the Emmys and um, like ABC had me as their like main host interviewing like the winner. So it just gave me like direct access to some of the biggest stars. So I've interviewed people like Tyra Banks. Um, I actually, Nike He's hired me for a bunch of their stuff for like all-star games. So I've interviewed LeBron James oh, wow. and Kobe Bryant um, with the TV Guide channel. I would do movie junkets and that's like A-list celebrity galore. But um, Lindsay Lohan and Michael Keaton were some of those people for sure. That is very exciting. Mm -hmm. How has your experience as an entertainer really helped you now be more focused and be able to really live the life of an entrepreneur? Because it's not easy. You know, no. you're running around all over the place. You're managing everything. Right. I mean, Including, you know, having to coordinate with your partners yes. and vendors, and I think like I, I think as an entertainer, you um, n number one, you have to sell yourself. You are constantly selling yourself. Every audition, every time you walk the red carpet, every time you're on a set, you know, you want to. It's all about getting rebooked and rehired. So you're just you're on all the time, and you learn how to deal with personalities. I mean, I think for one, I've learned to deal with some of the worst kinds of people. Okay. Um, you know, just because they're everywhere. And so in the business, I've had that too. So I think I have just um, learned how to understand people. And then even as an actor, like because you take on so many roles and you have to study um, human nature, like you really start to understand people. Being able to make that kind of effect, like have an effect on yeah. somebody. So like I'm constantly like, okay, so how can I market this particular product or this event from like, and how would that like affect people and make them want to buy it or like care? care yeah. about Mostra and I I think it's working I mean Mostra hasn't been around for very long and we've already done you know collaborations with um, some of the biggest breweries in the world and um, a lot of that is and you know and obviously like there's a lot of roasters out there in the world and some people would put coffee and beer or not but like for me I again because of the industry like entertainment I understand like just um, partnering up with bigger brands to help elevate, um, elevate your own brand is a part of, you know, yeah, helping your business sense. grow quickly. Um, but you also have to match that with like amazing product, which I think Moster does too. Well, as an actress, you were always getting in front of so many different people. Has mm -hmm. that helped you at your business here? Kind of yes. get in front of people or not be as shy when you're approaching yes. owners? And Well, I mean, Mostra, like we, the way we start, I mean, it was like on the ground gorilla style. Like we did every possible event. We did every beer and sake, fair, food, wine, festival. I mean, we'd be the only coffee company there because people don't usually think to necessarily bring a coffee bar to yeah. these food and wine, beer events. You see a lot of wine and beer, but not right. really. Any but other. no coffee. Yeah. But we were like, we're doing everything to get our name out, which again, I think came a lot from the entertainment industry. You just put yeah. yourself out there. Well, it as sounds much like you, can. you were kind of putting yourself out there then, and you're still doing the same thing now. Yes. And then business. you have to sell it. And like, people are coming up to you like, what are you guys doing? Why should I care and it's it is a performance which most are means most are in Italian means performance or show okay. or exhibition is that where you got, kind of got the name it from is. your acting My, background yeah so your story of becoming an entrepreneur and really living this dream is very inspiring I know a lot of people watching have that um, idea or dream and they just haven't taken that next step yet what do you recommend for someone who's you know they really want to go to that next level but they haven't done it yet you know yeah. how, how should they take that leap of faith um, I definitely think uh, aligning yourself with great uh, with a great team, uh, great great partners, and really just going for it. I mean, there's no taking breaks. There's no like vacation. You just like kind of have to just go balls to the wall and dream really big and do absolutely everything that you can. I, I would also recommend getting just as involved with every aspect of your business so that you understand it. I um, mean, there's no one else that can sell it better than you. So it's just kind of all of those things, but just, it really is what I, what we said in the beginning, just go big or go home. Just go all the way. Cause then at least if you go all the way and it doesn't work out, like at least you know you did absolutely everything that you could have done. 
Well, thank you so much for joining us on Asian Voices, Jillian. I'm inspired by your story, and I know many other people are too. Thank you so much for having me. And I've actually been dying to try your coffee. It's been smelling <laughs> so good this whole interview. So I think I'm gonna finally take a sip. <laughs> All right. And tell people how they can find you. So you can find us on Instagram. Just search official underscore Moster Coffee, or on Facebook, just search Moster Coffee, or our website, MosterCoffee.com. And you're talking to me, so okay. So people can reach out to you there yeah. as well. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Cheers. Welcome back. If you enjoy watching entertainment shows such as America's Dance Crew, you may have heard of Kaba Modern. Established in 1992, this multicultural dance crew has since evolved to be one of the most cutting-edge hip-hop dance crews in California. Ivan Chong catches up with them at the rehearsal studio in Irvine to discover how they're carrying on their legacy in the hip-hop dance community. So I'm here with Branley Karubin, the executive director of Kaba Modern. Uh, how are you doing? Doing good. Tell, uh, tell us a little bit about the uh, history of Kaba Modern. So Kaba Modern was founded in 1992 by Arnel Calvario, and it was originally created for the Filipino American Culture Night here for UCI's uh, Kaba Bayan Club, which is the Filipino American Club here. What sort of like ethnic makeup does your uh, team members have now? So a lot of our team is mostly Asian because uh, dance is very big in the Asian American community today, just not even just with Kaba Modern, but across the across the board really. Um, but we have um, we have a handful of members that are not Asian. Um, we have had African American members, um, we have had Caucasian members, and we've also currently on the team we have someone who is recently from Brazil. Oh really? So yeah, is um, we have I know it is heavily Asian and very like very Asian dominant, but we definitely don't um, we don't shy away. If you want it, we don't discriminate at all. If you want to come in audition for us, by all means, come in audition for us. We're welcome to any kind of talent, and it's we're it's it's not a big thing for us. It's, you mentioned this before. Uh, tell us a little bit more about the Kaba Collective because I know that this is a, a big new enterprise that you guys are working in right now. Yeah. So basically the Kaba Modern Collective is we have a series of classes that happen on Sundays, Mondays, and Wednesdays. And we bring in choreographers from Los Angeles, to San Diego, and we basically wanted to have a resource for all the people that are kind of in this OC area to have access to that. And um, not everyone has the funds or the means to go to San Diego or go to Los Angeles to take all these like great classes. But mm -hmm. we're glad that we can be a resource for those who want to take class here and learn from all these great choreographers. Angela. Yes? You're the marketing assistant director for Kaba Modern, is that yes, right? I am. Excellent, excellent. So how long have you been with Kaba Modern? Um, this is my second year. And what drew you in originally? Um, well, I've kind of been in the dance community for a while now, um, so I've kind of known about the team. Um, I think the thing about Kaba that I like the most is the diversity and the family aspect of it. Um, so that's something that really set the team apart from some other teams um, that I've been around. Um, so that's probably the thing that drew me in the most. Be honest with me. The 2008 America's Best Dance Crew that had have something to do with your decision? Um, no. All right, that's <laughs> fine. Have you guys competed yet? Yes, we have, actually. We competed at a competition in June called Body Rock. 
Yeah, it was pretty big. It was an international competition. Just one under your belt. How many more you got in you? We got, what, two more or one more? I think one more. <laughs> Atta boy. <laughs> um, this, well, that was my last one because I have to start grad school in a month, so just one for me. Grad school? Yeah. <laughs> they let old timers in here? <laughs> We've met some amazing dancers here in the OC with Kava Modern. Next time, I'll show you a recipe where we put peas in guacamole. This is Ivan Chong for Asian Voices. See you next time. Daddy sent you another one. Whoa. Daddy, do you know I got some slip? You've worked hard to be successful for your family. Working together, we can help manage your money so you can broaden their horizons. Adi, Daddy's on the phone. Daddy, I miss you. Oh, I got the answer. Blind fish can be... Wells Fargo. Together we'll go far. Thanks for watching today's show. And I'll leave you with our music video of the week. Be sure to also check us out on AsianVoices.tv as well as follow us on Facebook and Twitter. I'm your host, Kathleen Choi. I'll see you next time on Asian Voices. Become a searchlight